Good morning, everybody. How are you doing, friends? Today, we are going to talk about two sample t-test using Excel. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Okay, so the problem is on number of points held by a sample of NHL teams. And we have two conferences, Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. We have data from a sample of uh, a sample of clubs from the Eastern Conference and the sample of teams uh, from the Western Conference. Okay, so the question asked at alpha equal to 0 0.05, is there a difference in the mean score between the two regions, okay? So we can write H sub zero. I'll write the H sub zero here. H sub zero colon mu, that means population mean. So let me clear, clear this. Mu, West uh, Eastern Conference mu E equal to mu W. Mu E is the mean population mean of the Eastern Conference. Mu W is the population mean of the Western Conference. In the null hypothesis, we assume they are equal. In the alternate hypothesis, we will assume mu East not equal to, not equal to mu west. Okay. So they're equal, the null hypothesis, they're equal in the alternate, which is the test hypothesis. We are assuming mu east not equal to mu west. Okay. And now we have to look at the evidence from the sample data. Notice we do not know the population standard deviations of the points for both the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. We only have sample data from sample of teams from the Eastern Conference and a sample of teams from the Western Conference. Since we do not know the population uh, standard deviation for Eastern as well as Western Conference teams, we have to use a t-test, two sample t-test. How will we do it? So I have already installed the data analysis tool pack in Excel. So if I click in data, I will see the data analysis tool pack and I will click on that, okay? Now I want to do a two sample t-test basically, okay? T-sample, two test, assuming unequal variances. We will assume the population variance of Eastern Conference is not equal to the population variance of the Western Conference teams. So t-test, two sample, assuming unequal variances, we will highlight. And then we will click OK. Now it will ask for variable one, which is my Eastern Conference. So I will highlight from cell A2, column A, row 2, through column A, row 13, OK? A2 through A13 is variable one range. Next, it will ask me for variable two range, which is the Western Conference. So I will highlight from uh, B2 through B11, column B, row two through column B, row 11. Notice the sample size of the Eastern Conference is not equal to the sample size of Western Conference. That's fine, okay? Now I will click on labels. This is to make Excel aware that my first row, the Eastern and Western, this row, that is cell A2 and cell B2 consist of labels. That's why I click on labels. My alpha is already pre-selected at 0 0.05, okay? And I will click on new worksheet ply, okay? So basically I will get a test statistic and I will look at the probability value or p-value of getting a test statistic as extreme as what we have obtained or more extreme than that and compare the p-value probability value with the alpha value. If the p-value is less than equal to alpha, then we'll reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is greater than alpha, then we will not reject H0. So let's do the calculation. 
I'll just click OK now. And it has already done the calculations for me, so I'm ready to look at the result. So I'll just, uh, okay. So look at the sample means of the Eastern, sample mean of Western, sample variance of Eastern, sample variance of Western. Number of observations in Eastern is, um, is um, 11. Hypothesized mean difference is zero, that there is no difference between them. The test statistic is 1.174. Look at the p-value. I'm doing a two-tail test. Remember, my uh, test is null hypothesis, mu w is equal, or mu eastern is equal to mu western, and the alternate is mu western not equal to mu eastern is not equal to mu western. So this is a two-tail test. Okay, so uh, I'm looking at the prob probability or p-value of T2 tell, which is 0 0.2585. So I can write it down, p-value, value, p-value value is uh, 0 0.2585, 0 0.2585, alpha is, zero given to us 0 0.05 so p value p greater than alpha decision do not reject h0 the H should be capital and zero. Do not reject the null hypothesis because P is greater than uh, alpha decision. So my decision is, I'll write it clearly. Decision is do not reject H0, okay? Then what is my conclusion? If my decision is not to reject H0 because P is greater than alpha, then conclusion is at alpha equal to 0. Point, equal to 0 0.05. There is not enough evidence to support HA. Enough evidence to support HA. Okay. Because we did not reject H0, therefore we could not support the alternate hypothesis. So I'll stop here today. If you have any question, comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.